In this video, we are looking at the recording options in PowerPoint 2016. Previously, we have gone into the advanced settings and we have enabled the recording tab. Now that we have done that, I've gone ahead and created a very blank and very open PowerPoint presentation. Before we go into the recording phase, I want to show you how I've constructed this PowerPoint presentation and why. You can see we start with a basic title slide. But as I go through each of these different slides, you'll notice there's lots of white space and not a lot of text on each of these slide pages. And this is a very deliberate choice. A recent study revealed that if we only put 40% of our information into our presentations and rely on voice and annotation, then our students will be much more engaged in what they are learning. If there's more engagement, there's more of an opportunity for students to retain that knowledge and use it meaningfully. So let's return to the top of my presentation. As it's going to be quite repetitive, I'll stop the recording part way through and then I'll share a link to the finished recording and this PowerPoint file itself. That way you can go into it, open it up and see how I've put the recording together. Hopefully through this demonstration, you'll come to understand that perhaps how we have been using PowerPoint for a while is no longer the best way to do so. If we can start to take information out of our PowerPoint presentations and replace it with narration and annotation, then we are hopefully setting our students up for a more engaged learning experience in our classrooms. So let's get started. Having saved the file, we can now go into the recording process. I'm currently using a microphone that's connected to the PC and I've got my stylus ready. So let's now go into the recording tab. In the ribbon are our basic options. We're not using apps and quizzes or screenshots or any of these other features. We're simply using the record slideshow setting, which appears as the first option. If we drop down, you can see here that we can record from our current slide or from the beginning of the PowerPoint presentation. In this case, it doesn't matter. So we're simply going to record from the current slide. So we are now inside the PowerPoint recorder interface. As we look around, there's space at the top for us to type and create notes. And these are a useful on-screen prompt so that we don't get lost while we're narrating through our slides. To the right, we have the option when we're stopped to clear the recordings on the current slide or all the recordings throughout the presentation. And there's further settings to the right of that again. To move between the slides, we use the left and right arrow buttons. At the bottom, we have the pen, the highlighter, and the rubber tools, and a range of colors to use. To the far right, we can see that the microphone is on with the option to disable that. I've turned off my webcam, and because the webcam is off, there's no video preview that's going to sit in this window corner here. So let's get started. In a moment, I'm going to press this record button and annotate over the slides while speaking. Rather than stopping at the end of each slide, I'm going to just simply move to the next slide and keep speaking. This presentation is a brief walkthrough of the class notebook tab. The class notebook tab sits in the ribbon of OneNote 2016. When we click on this link here, we get access to all of these tools that you see along the bottom of the ribbon. The following slides will go through the functions of each of these buttons one at a time. First, we have the distribute page button. When we click on this, a drop-down menu reveals any of the sections 
that sit within that class notebook. Say you're on a page and you want to distribute it to the student sections. You simply click on this Distribute Page button and then you choose which section you want the page to appear in. You've also got the option to choose individuals and groups to distribute to. Now that I've finished creating this recording, I have a number of options. I can save it as a show and that will create a file to be played on a computer such as a PC or I can export it to video. In this case, I'm going to export it to video. Here we've got the option to choose the size and I'm going to choose HD. We're also going to use the recorded timings and narrations. Finally, we click the Create Video button. We'll leave all these settings as default and I'll hit Save. You'll see down the bottom that we have this progress bar and this is our video being created. Depending on the length and the quality of the video, this may take some time. 